It's going off of memory. I left my paper at home. Well, children, where there is so much racket, there must be something out of a kilter. I think the twigs, the Negroes of the South and the women of the North, talking about rights, gonna have a white man in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this here talking about? That man over there says that women need to be helped in the carriages and lifted over ditches and given the best place everywhere. Nobody, nobody ever helps me in the carriages or gives me in the best place. And ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arms. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns. No man can head me, and ain't I a woman? I can work as much and eat as much as a man when I can get it, and bear the lash as well, and ain't I a woman? I have borne 13 children, and most I've seen sold off into slavery. And when I cried with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me, and ain't I a woman? What's this they thing they call in the head? Oh. Intellect. That's it, honey. <laughs> What's that got to do with women's rights or Negroes' rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint and yours holds a quote, wouldn't you be mean not to let me have my little half measure full? What? Then that man in the black there says that Women can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? <laughs> Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. <laughs> if the first woman that God ever created was strong enough to turn this world upside down all alone, <laughs> then these women ought to be able to turn it back and make it right size up again. And now they are asking to do it. And the men better let them oblige for you for hearing me. And now old Sojourner ain't got nothing more to say.